Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, you know what? I am still out at the Enclave of Petrenko Oaks. Well, because it's about an hour drive for me to get out here, so why not do two videos? This other house is on the market as well by Texas Homes, and it's over 2,800 square feet. So this is a big old house. Let's go check it out. Now, if you haven't seen my first video of this community, the tax rate in here is one of the big selling points. It is 2.275. And the reason it's that low is because it's just outside of Bear County, because Bear County taxes are, you know, they're pretty damn high. But this is in uh, Casterville County, and so that's why the tax rate's so low. And you're about a 23 to 25 minute drive from here to Lackland Air Force Base. Just a little bit further west off Petranco Road than the other community. Just kind of keep on going down Petranco Road, and you'll run into this place. But Texas Homes, they are one of my favorite production home builders. You see they got the three-dimensional shingles on here and uh, yeah they've got a, like basically an upstairs apartment so yeah if you did have uh you're doing the multi-family thing living in there they can live right upstairs but yeah let's head on inside gorgeous front door and if you haven't hit that like button already please do so it really does help me out a lot all right one of the big things i love about this house is the cathedral ceilings you don't see this too often but wow they really make a statement right when you come in it's like feeling like you're in europe which i was just recently not mean to brag a lot but i did go on a nice little vacation and my daughter saw some really cool cathedrals and her first catacombs with actual bones in it when we were in uh, austria so yeah beautiful entryway Love the little lighting, but I can't pass up this little front area. So this is perfect space for if you've got those long-term guests, um, if you got your mom living with you or somebody else, they can live in this front room because they'll have their own shower. And uh, a little mini sink. Oh, toilet seat was up there. Caught me. Let me fix that real quick. All right. There's the little water closet right up there. And uh, yeah, there's the little mini sink. All right, let's go check out the rest of this house. Love the fact they've got the eight foot doors in this house. Now, uh, this house also has something a little unique. This little entry, this little space here that you can go out and uh, you can do lots of things. Some people would have like uh, little gardens out here. There we go. All those little wall gardens, if you're trying to do vegetables or something, trying to mount stuff on the walls, you can do that. Or I was even thinking, uh, if you were into sunbathing, y'all saw my complexion, I am not into sunbathing, but some people are. You could do it without worrying about tan lines. Uh, depends on what type of day it is. All right, beautiful living space here. I'm gonna show that in just a second, a little more, because I wanna show off this space back here first. We do have utility room and your garage. Two car garage, nothing real fancy about it, but they did finish it all out with a nice paint. And that's a big old water heater right there. All right, you do have me. Someone's calling me here. Yes, I know I have an appointment tomorrow. All right, yes, you do have your full bathroom and shower combination here and another bedroom. Tall ceilings. And they don't have the eight foot doors throughout because it's hard to put eight foot doors when you got an upstairs. And we'll show the upstairs off after I do this kitchen area. But yeah, this house is a three bedroom, four bath, two car garage, ready right now. And it's currently listed at 595, but there's always some wiggle room, especially in these inventory homes that are complete because the builders want to get these units moved. They don't want to sit on it because once the house is completed, guess what? Builders have to start paying taxes on the house 
once it's done with construction. It's not paying on dirt anymore. So builders want to get these houses sold as quickly as possible. There's your pantry. We do have Whirlpool appliances. This is a gas community. And one of the things I like about this house, notice no sink on the island. They have the sink off to the side here. So if you're, picture you're hosting a party and you've got all of your friends and family, they all hang out the sink. That's just what people, all hang out around the island. That's what they do. Everybody's gonna hang out around the island. You don't want them hanging around, sipping on some wine, chit-chatting, and then looking at your dirty dishes. So having your dishes off to the side here is kind of a really neat thing. And you can always like uh, get a nice view of the backyard as well. Speaking of backyard, let's go check it out. Now, this house does back up to Petranco Road, so you are going to have a little bit of road noise in here, but you're also not going to have anybody looking in your back window at all either. They do do uh, landscaping, sprinklers front and back, so that's all taken care of. You can even see the sprinklers on the fence there a little bit. And uh, decent size, Let me back up a little bit patio wouldn't say it's a large pat extended patio but if you wanted to extend it shoot this is san antonio you can get somebody to come build a big wooden deck going all the way out there if you wanted to there there's a lot of people who do uh do that work they do a lot of remodeling work and stuff like that in this town all right master bedrooms back there but i wanted to show you the upstairs I do actually like this little feature here in the main living space. Uh, they got kind of a little nook set up to where you can have your receiver, all of your audio equipment, your speakers and stuff, and it's not including intruding, get my words right, in the walkway, kind of all be set aside. And if you, I've got a projector in my house, but I got a fixed screen, but if you wanted to have a roll up screen, you actually could put a roll-up screen up there, hit, put your fancy artwork or something down there, hit a button, and then have your screen kind of come down. That'd be super cool to do, and not very really expensive. If you want to make this your media room, but that's only if you didn't want to use upstairs as a media room, because you certainly could do that up here as well. Because look at this space. That's a lot of space up here. So yeah, they got plenty of room. You can place to put your TV there, but with the shape of it, it'd be kind of hard to put a big screen up on either side of these rooms. So yeah, if you want to go big screen, you could. <clears throat> Miss Marshall, um, she's the temp that brought me out here to help promote this area. She was calling this the perfect place if you were doing homeschooling. You can have a little classroom set up out here, put some kids' desk up here so they can be doing their homework. Really, really neat spot. And another little closet space. Up here, if you want to have your school books or games, that's if you want to use this as a homeschool type setup. But yeah, I really like this space. But wait, we're not quite done with this space yet because you got a full bathroom up here too. Check this out. You can always put a little bench or something there if you want a little seating area. But yeah, you have a full bathroom up here as well with a shower tub combo. So yeah, especially if you did, like I mentioned in other videos and often do, if you're trying to do that, you've got that college age kid, one of my past clients like yeah, 40 year olds, they need a place to stay and they, they made some not so great financial decisions and they had to move back home with the parents. It happens, but uh, yeah, they have their own little apartment up here if wanted to be. So it's really cool to be able to do that. I wouldn't let a 40 year old move back in for free though, definitely charging rent. All right, let's head on downstairs and look at the master bedroom. All right, back downstairs. I know, I'm silly. I just don't like recording going downstairs. All right, you got the little wine rack thing down here. It's really neat. I do like this kitchen, how they have it set up. So, and uh, all the hardware already 
really nicely done. But we've already looked at that, so let's head into the bedroom. Plenty of living room space there. Love these little nooks. But yeah, really nice size room with just tons of light in here. Love the fact that they got the extra light on this side, so you can still put your uh, dresser and bed and stuff right there and have a little extra light coming in on this wall as well. But yeah, check out this bathroom. There's a neat little feature I didn't notice before above the door. Very nice. We're coming in, you got some beautiful tile work. Freestanding tub, which actually is not that cheap to do, but uh, seeing more and more builders do that, and I'm glad they're doing it. They've got a little tile going up on the side. You do, to this house, you would have to work out a little bit or put some blinds so when you stand up from taking a nice bubble bath with your glass of wine, then you can say, hi neighbors, how you doing? But once again, they took, took the uh, mirror, the ceiling tile in the shower on the top at the bottom. Very cool, I like that touch a lot. Your master bedroom closets. And is this another closet or is that linen? Oh, that's the water closet. And damn it, toilet seat was up. Sorry, caught me again. And just your regular linen closet. So yeah, beautifully done bathroom. I really do like the light in this master bedroom. And this floor looks like it's luxury vinyl plank floor which can be really nice dog resistant if you got big dogs. It's really waterproof and uh, claw resistant. So it can be really tough to booger these uh, floorings up. I tell they got the little same little box lights throughout the house there. But really nicely done house. All right, let's gonna do a tour of this home that's on the market as of late July, 2023 in the brand new community of the Enclave at Petranco Oaks. That's all a Texas home community. I really like the, if you're needing to be on this side of town, it's a really nice community to be in. Y'all know I'm partial to Texas Hill Country, but sometimes that's just a little bit far to drive depending on what your work is and your lifestyle. So if you need to be on the west side of San Antonio, I definitely check out, recommend checking out this community. It's really nice and it's just getting started. So there's plenty of lots to choose from if you're looking to build from dirt. Anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel, and as always, share these videos with your friends. A special thanks out to Ms. Marshall who invited me to come out here to promote this home. All right, take care now, bye.